All right, folks, this is our third and last distance time graph question from our do now this morning. So it's the same graph again, but the question is different. The question now is how long did it take, <clears throat> excuse me, how long did it take for Marie to get to work? We know already that Marie is going to work. It says Marie's trip to work. She's going to work and we know she is leaving from home. And we know that along the X axis, this is keeping track of the time, how long it's taking her to go from one point to the next. So the best way to understand what's going on and then to answer the question is to dissect this graph. If you notice, there are six points at points A, B, C, D, E, F. And then you could break the, uh, the graph down into sec segments, point A, B. Let me change my color. You have points, so segment A, B. Then you have segment B, C. Then you have segment C, D. Then you have segment D, E. And finally, segment E, F. All right? Now, I know I've marked this up pretty good. <laughs> so I'm going to clear this up because at least now you know what I mean when I say segment, right? So let's clear the screen. All right. So what is going on from point A to B? Now, I think we're all pretty much clear that at point A, she's at home. And then she leaves and she makes it all the way to point B. So you should ask yourself, well, how far was it from A to B? Well, if you look at the y-axis, point A is at zero miles, point B is at five miles. So she drove five miles. But what happens from point B to point C? Well, what does it look like? Notice this segment, the BC segment, is what we call a negative slope. The line is going this way rather than going this way, which is what we call a positive slope, all right? So if you think about it, what happens here from point A, B to C is something that we've all experienced. So point A, she gets in the car, she starts driving, she drives all the way to point B, and then she realizes what? I forgot my wallet at home. So what does she do? She turns around and she goes back home. So at point C, she's in the same place that she was in in point A. Now, 10 minutes have passed, but she is back at home. So then it's really at point C when she starts her journey to work. So from point C to D, she travels. And then we already discussed what happened from points D to E. This is where she waits for the train to pass. Then finally at point E, the train has, is gone and she continues on her journey until she gets to work at point F. So if that is the case, that means we have to start looking at the time from point C to point F. So how much time is there between 10 and 40? Well, we know 40 minus 10 is going to give you 30. And the units are minutes. So this means her trip to work was 30 minutes. Now, if you look over here at the answer choices, do you see 30 minutes? You do not. Because unfortunately, this is what happens when teachers do work very, very late at night. <laughs> I forgot to put the correct answer in. So folks, even though it's not listed here, the correct answer is 30 minutes. It took her 30 minutes to get to work. All right, hope you understand that. Thanks.